Hey everybody, so today we're gonna take a look at possibly the craziest bag I ever bought. So this is the Polen Paya bag and it comes with this postcard here and it basically says that it's a very fine material. Um, you have to be really careful with it. It's for special occasions, not everyday use and you have to avoid friction against the raffia or prolonged exposure to direct light or heat, um, protect the bag from water, greasy substances, perfume, cosmetics, dark or new items of clothing as a dye may bleed. If the bag becomes wet, absorb the liquid by dabbing gently with a soft cloth and let it dry and store it in the dust bag and box. So this is not an everyday bag, but it's probably the craziest bag I ever bought. So let's take a look at this. So yes, it's made out of straw, like hay. It's got this beautiful leather going around it. Um, the bottom has some feet here. You can carry it like a clutch bag if you wanted to, but I kind of found that not to be super easy because it's weird when you're touching the straw and you have to be really careful with it. So I wouldn't advise. So this is like, feels like a brush, like, I don't know, some kind of a brush that you would use, but yeah, it's it's definitely an interesting piece of artwork, and not so much a bag. So these are the hooks to carry the strap, uh, to attach the strap. So here's the main problem I have with this bag. This is a magnetic closure, and it's actually really hard to open. I mean, maybe it's easier to open when it's loaded with things, but the first initial time that I opened the bag, I was pretty shocked at how strong this magnet was. So I'm going to show you how to attach the strap here. So it's pretty easy. You just loop it through. That was the magnetic closure. It's really strong. And then here, you slip this in. So I prefer this to be on the second notch, the closest to the end. So you do have to use some force to put this in here. And this isn't the type of bag either that you can leave with the strap on because you're supposed to just store it. So when you store it, I remove the strap from the bag. All right, so here you go. So you can carry it on a crossbody, which I have pictures on my blog if anyone's interested. Carry it on the shoulder, and you just pull the straps up like that, and then you can carry it over the shoulder. So it says not to load this bag up. So I'm going to show you what fits in here. So first of all, it's completely lined in that beautiful leather. And oh, one other thing I'll show you here. So opening the bag, you have to use quite a bit of force. So I've already kind of like scratched up the inside of this piece right there with my nails trying to like, you know, force it open. So not great, but yes, it is what it is. All right, so there is one little slip pocket here and it says pull in on it. Um, it's a pretty small pocket. I don't think you could really fit anything in there honestly and it's really beautiful like stitching so the trunk part was made by these cabinet makers which I thought was pretty cool and this is limited edition to 100 only so let me see if I can zoom in closer all right so let's take a look at what fits this is the iPhone 15 Pro which does fit you just have to place it in perfectly at the sides so fits my keys card case and fit my Altoids whoa okay so this is magnetic that's kind of cool let's see if it closes nope it won't close you have to readjust well if I keep it like that okay so that works let me see if I can also fit these out to it in here. Maybe tricky because it's magnetic too. Nope. 
barely, but it won't, the magnetic isn't strong enough to keep it closed. Interesting. So I guess maybe you can't really, but I would have thought you could have at least fit that. It's really interesting. Let's see. Let's try it again like that. Oh, there you go. All right, so you do have to play a little Tetris with these items. So I have my phone in the back, card case here, Altoids like that, and my keys there. I think you'd be able to fit some more items, but maybe not because you gotta close it. Okay, so actually, so with the, with the items in there, it's a little bit easier to open, sort of, maybe because the weight of the things help pull the magnetic, the magnets apart. It's a little bit better, actually. So they say not to overload it, and I will say with these things, it does kind of weigh quite a bit. Not like a lot, but probably close to two to three pounds, at least. So, all right. That's good to know. All right, so let's see. Let's see if I can measure exactly how big this compartment is. Well, I know it fits the iPhone 15 here, but let's see. I may not carry this case because it just sticks. A little weird. It's definitely the weirdest bag I ever bought. All right, so let's see. Even this sticks. <laughs> All right, so it's not opening is not quite seven inches it's about right there so six and three quarters so let's guess it's about the size of the phone and then the widest that it'll open is two and a half a little bit less yeah about two and a half and then deep it's about four and a quarter deep so yeah it's like the size of a clutch I guess it's the perfect wallet, phone, and keys bag. All right. So I'm not going to be using this as an everyday bag. It'll just be probably mainly a display piece that I want to put in my uh, purse cabinet display. And then I'll probably use it on special occasions. So it's not a bag that I will be using often, and I realize that and accept that. But it is a piece of art that you can carry around, and it'll be a great conversational starter piece at, you know, some kind of event. I could see that happening, but it is very well made, even though you gotta be careful with it. So interestingly enough, when you open it, it does form these creases on the bottom because of the way it opens, it'll crease. So that's good to know also. But it is limited edition to 100, so I will be keeping this one, obviously. Um, that's it. So let me know what you think of this bag. I have more photos of me modeling the bag on my blog. If you wanna take a look, I'll link it in the description below. Um, that's it. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time.